pecan pretzel crusted chicken. So I start out with equal amounts um, of pretzels and I just zap them in the food processor till they become little pretzel crumbs, just like that, and toasted pecans. To that, we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of cornstarch to help this really get extra crunchy and crispy. A couple of fat tablespoons of that, mix it in with your fingertips. And then we're gonna spice up the nut and pretzel crumbs with smoked sweet paprika, a little onion and garlic, and dry mustard. Then we're gonna set up our breading station. Flour, eggs, and instead of breadcrumbs, our pretzel nut mixture. Then it's gonna go right into the oil, so I'm gonna move all of these jars out of the way. And for the oil, you want oil you can see through. To the eggs that we're going to toss our chicken in, I add a couple of fat squirts of Dijon mustard. But you guys know the drill here, right? Flour, get off all your excess, then turn it in the egg, then press it firmly on both sides and evenly into your nuts and pretzel mixture. For the cutlets, I've got about an eighth of an inch of oil. Again, you wanna use innocuous oil, or oil that doesn't have any flavor that you can see through. I use safflower oil when I fry. You've got about an eighth of an inch of that in a very large skillet. Put them on that wire rack lined baking sheet so they stay nice and crisp. And get them into that hot oven. Our topping for this chicken cutlet is a maple drizzle. So good! Yeah, so I take equal amounts of Dijon, about a quarter of a cup for four cutlets. Figure about a tablespoon per cutlet. And then about an equal amount of real maple syrup. And then as much or as little hot sauce as you like. Yeah, I like some hot sauce. Then you mix this together and then just gently heat that. And we'll drizzle that down over the top when that chicken comes out. Let that get warm through, and that's good to go. And I serve this on a bed of iceberg, chopped iceberg lettuce. Guess why? Because then you don't have to make a salad. We're gonna top the chicken with two more surprise ingredients right after this. <laughs> to serve my pecan pretzel crusted uh, spicy chicken cutlets, I am going to put down a nice bed of a quarter head, so one per portion of cr crunchy iceberg lettuce. I've just chopped up one of my favorite combinations in life, parsley, chives, and fresh dill. Uh, and then we're gonna grab our chicken cutlets, which have been staying warm in a nice hot oven. So now we're gonna put the pretzel nut crusted chicken on the iceberg. Then we're going to pour over our maple mustard drizzle. <laughs> then we're going to add some chopped dill pickle. Cheese curds! Cheese curds, or you can crumble up some sharp cheddar cheese, of course. And then we hit it with our fresh herbs. What? Yeah. Nice! 